Hello everyone and thank you for joining our session today. My name is Arik Rokach, I'm from Unitronics, from the UniCloud team. And today I will uh, guide you through the new functionality of the latest version of uh, UniCloud. We will cover how UniCloud drive growth, uh, our new UniCloud uh, app for Android and iOS, usability enhancement, KPI tools, and some new widgets that we are introducing. And of course, at the end, we'll have a Q&A session. Uh, please use the questions tool of GoToWebinar in order to write your question, and I will address them at the end of the session. So what is UniCloud and how can it help you saving and increasing your revenues? So UniCloud is a cutting edge industrial IoT platform set to transfer your organization and offer unmet scalability, security and efficiency, which can lead to significant cost saving and re revenue growth. UniCloud enables seamless collaboration, data driven decision making and enhanced customer experience. Whatever you're aiming to streamline operation, boost productivity, or stay ahead of competitor, UniCloud is your strategic ally. Let's have a look at the profitability growth path of the industrial IoT service roadmap. So the first step would be to connect your machine to the internet so you can enjoy the benefits of secure remote access. It will reduce service and support costs, shorten the support session by using historical data for faster and more efficient troubleshooting, which will lead to higher service quality and customer satisfaction. The second step in driving your uh, profitability growth is to increase your service and productivity and product quality leveraging UniCloud machine data for support activity and preventive maintenance strategy, enhance service and product quality while simultaneously reducing waste, parts, and time-related costs. Improving product and service quality will increase your competitive advantage and can lead uh, in winning more deals. The third step, uh, is offer value added services. In addition to improve your operation efficiency and productivity hand in hand with saving cost, UniCloud introduced new opportunity for new revenue stream for value added services, such as new level of SLAs, optimization services, 24 seven monitoring, performance report, data back backup, and so on. And the fourth step in driving your organization growth is offer machine as a service versus only selling your machines. By revolutionizing your business model with UniCloud machine as a service, empowering you to charge your customer by using machine, your machine as a service approach versus buying your machine. This provides you access to new, new type of customers who couldn't afford to buy your machine before. And this will provide flexibility, cost effectiveness, and a new level of uh, stream, uh, revenue stream to your business. Here we can see an example of how customers are implementing usage of machine data to support their profitability growth paths. So in the area of secure remote access, we spoke about secure remote HMI. This is the first and the most immediate benefit that you achieve when connecting to UniCloud. You can access from your dashboard to every one of your machines without paying for a fixed IP and with no dependencies on a third party on the other side. In the area of productivity, you, for example, can monitor um, your performance of uh, if this is a water uh, plant of your water production. You can compare it to other water production. You can monitor the performance over time. Uh, you can also monitor in real time the water tank level. In the area of efficiency, still an example of the water treatment plant, 
you can measure how many gallons or liters can you produce per each kilowatt per hour. Not only that you can measure what is the current uh, performance, productivity or efficiency, uh, you can see if it's in the acceptable range that you defined and you can see how it's performing over time. Another example is over here, for example, if you are into the ESG compliance, com uh, um, uh, measuring your CO2 footprint, you can see that uh, usually the CO2 footprint should not exceed 1,000. You can see that you had two cases, two events over here, or maybe actually three cases, where uh, the pollution went over what is defined in the uh, compliance uh, in your country. So this is a way to see if you meet the compliance definition and what can be done in order to uh, avoid it. In this case, we monitor the CO2, which is the green area. We also monitor the speed. In this case, it's a water pump speed, the power, the temperature, trying to understand uh, if they have an effect on, uh, on your CO2 level. In this case, we see that the power, which is the blue one, uh, had a spike over here, and it probably is the uh, source, core source of uh, a higher CO2 levels. So you can use it for troubleshooting, as I said before, if you have all this information in front of you, your um, support session will be shorter. If it's shorter, you save money. You save uh, money on time, you save money on staff, and so on. Now that we are familiar with uh, how UniCloud can contribute to your business growth, let's have a look at some of the new features and functionality we introduced in our latest, uh, latest version. And the first one of them is uh, the new, new UniCloud app uh, for Android and iOS. Uh, with this app, you can view dashboard on your phone. You can use a higher level of security with biometric login. And you can use the remote HMI button for all types of PLCs. The UniCloud will know automatically what type of PLC you want to access, either a Unistream or a Vision, um, and will enable it without the need to install any third-party application on your phone. Let's move to some new uh, usability enhancement that we are introducing. The first one is that we move the calculation from the area of the filter and calculation uh, into the data and metrics. So you can have the calculation icon inside the tags over here. Uh, it's more straightforward, it's more understandable than it will you know, be in two different places. The second one is that we added the option to use system properties in the area of the filters and the sorting. The third one is we also added system properties in the events, in the automatic notifications. System properties was introduced in previous version. It's a KPI functionality. <clears throat> we will cover it in a minute. Uh, but now you can use it not only on the widgets to mark, benchmark uh, any category that you want, any uh, uh, telemetry that you want. You can also use it in the filter and sorting, you can also use those uh, seats and properties in the automatic notification uh, uh, ruling calculation. The next enhancement that we are introducing is the legend configuration. Uh, if you remember in the past in the line widget, sometimes the legend at the bottom of the of the wizard of the widget it was long uh, and it took some areas, it took an area from the widget. Today you can choose if you want to have the asset ID, asset name, tag name, which, what, what kind of information do you want to have in the legend. 
you can even uh, sort the order it or if you don't want it at all uh, you leave this area blank the next enhancement is in the asset window we added the remote access status indicator okay uh, communication with the plc has a few roads or path one is for telemetry second one is to enable remote access you need sometimes to configure or to open certain ports and so on so today you have a visual indication if uh, all the confirmation all the configuration that had to be done in order to enable remote access uh, was done and what is the status so the only thing that you need to do is to log into the level to the window of the asset go over here and if uh, you have a green view over here these buttons uh, should be enabled we also rearrange a bit the area over here allowing enabling you to add an image of the asset on the asset level so some of the text that was on the right side moved over here so today you can also add an image to the asset level the next enhancement is uh, a drag and drop aggregated setting so if this is a tag that represent a gauge and I drag it over here um, and I choose the average settings in the past uh, from the same line you had to choose average first last max and so on you there was no option to see all the option because there was not enough uh, space over here so today you need it stays over here after I uh, drag and drop uh, the gauge and selected average it stays over here I need to redrag it over here select for example the Delta um, and all of the functionalities over here uh, that was already chosen will be will not uh, shown in this list if in a case you choose to present all of them and then the gauge will be removed over here because there is no available uh, available uh, options that were not uh, uh, used before so these are the enhancement in terms of usability uh, enhancement uh, on the on the version so now let's move to <coughs> a new widget that we are introducing We're introducing a VPN uh, VPN is part of uh, it's under the remote access a widget library um, it's a new widget there is no need for you to use a third-party VPN installation when do we need to use the VPN you can use the VPN when you want to establish a private connection point to point behind the security level of UniCloud in order to upgrade your PLC application uh, upgrade your PLC operation system um, upload files to the PLC or download to your local computer um, information or files from the memory card of the PLC uh, so this is uh, now built in inside the widget and there is no need to reinstall install any third party the second enhancement under the remote access category is the remote HMI remote HMI if you pay attention before it's the same name convention and the same functionality which we introduced on our application so previously it was called a VNC but now it's an enhanced functionality which enable you to do remote access to vision and Unistream so the system will know UniCloud will know automatically what is the type of the PLC that you want to connect to and in case of a Unistream it will enable and open a VNC window and in case of a vision it will open your remote operator which is an application that you need to be uh, it need to be installed on your computer as well and which means that it's a seamless connection now you just need to click if this is installed uh, for vision the application uh, the connection for remote access will be done automatically any questions
Again, if you have any question, please write it down in the questions uh, toolbar of uh, GoToWebinar and I will uh, address them uh, as soon as possible. Let's move to the new functionality uh, which is related to KPI tools. What is KPI? KPI is Key Performance uh, Indicator uh, and KPI are being used to, it's a metric used to evaluate the performance of a process. Okay, so if, uh, for example, if you're uh, benchmarking uh, what is the water, daily water throughput, how many clean water you are uh, cleaning from the source water, uh, and your benchmark is 1,000 liters a day, this is your benchmark, this is how you want to uh, benchmark your, your performance. So in the area of uh, KPI tools, we have system properties that we introduced before, and we have a new tool uh, on the level of the widget, which is a threshold lines. Let's uh, recap on system properties. So what is system properties and why do we need to use them? So system properties is a definition behind the scenes of a metric. For example, uh, in this case, uh, when we monitor the water quality, the pH level should be between 6.5 to 8.5. So I can define that the minimum required pH level will be 6.5 and the maximum good level will be 8.5. And by when I'm configuring this widget or another widget, I can refer when I need to define the range over here, not to a specific value that I enter, 6.5, but I refer to a definition that I define somewhere else, not on the widget level. And this will be getting from this definition the number automatically and will uh, set up the range over here. If tomorrow the standard uh, of myself, of my company, or in the industry will be 6 and not 6.5, the only thing I need to do is to go to system properties to the minimum a good pH level and change it from 6.5 to 6. As soon as I will save it, it, this update will roll out to all the widgets, all the widgets that are been using this uh, system properties definition. It will roll to your customers uh, dashboard without uh, any need to do anything else. So as far as you know, uh, system uh, Unicloud is a centralized management system, and this is system properties is a cross platform cross widget uh, definition. So let's have a look on how do we define it. So when you go to asset type or even on the asset level itself, you have a tab system properties. For example, uh, I defined over here that the daily production target uh, is 1000, the oil tank max capacity is 200, um, production uh, time per unit as a benchmark, how much time it needs to take me to produce a unit of those 1,000 will be five minutes and so on and so on and so on. I can even place over here how much does it cost uh, in the UK in during 2023, one kilobyte per hour, okay, which is uh, 30 cents. So I can use those system properties to measure, to benchmark, to calculate and so on. How do we add the system properties? Just press on the plus button over here. You get a window, give it a name, select if it's a numeric, text, date, select the type of the field and the value, and that's it. You can use system properties uh, in sorting, in filtering, in calculation, in the automatic notification, you can, know, you can use those values that you put over here to benchmark, to notify you automatically, do all kinds of uh, stuff. With the new version, we are introducing a new type of uh, KPI tools, which is the minimum and the maximum threshold lines. 
Uh, you can see an example over here. However, these threshold lines are on the level of the widget. They are not cross-platform uh, because it's related to a specific parameter. In this case, it's pressure. Okay, so in this case, uh, this is the pressure of uh, system IP 150, and I place over here in a minimum and a maximum. I can define the name, the mix, and the marks. I can define the type of the line and the color. So this is how I do that. Uh, I can decide if I want to show both of them, one of them, none of them, give it a name, give the value, select if it's going to be a dash, dotted, and select the color. So it's very straightforward, very easy to use. However, still, it's on the level of the widget, not cross-platform, because those mix and marks are related to a specific parameter of the pressure. We are also introducing local tags. This is something that many of you uh, ask for. Uh, local tag can be found in the wizard when you define uh, the setting of the widget. So in the area of the data and metrics, you will have a new functionality over here, add local tags. As soon as you click this button, this window will pop up. You give it a name. And as soon as you give it a name, it will be added to your data and, data and metrics. You can set up a fixed value over here. You can calculate, you can delete it, and so on. So local tags are for calculation, and they eliminate the time and cost re of reprogging the PLC application, because what you have done until today, if you had to... Um, generate kind of a placeholder for calculation. You had to go to the PLC application, create a new tag, pack again the application of the PLC, and then roll this update to all the machines in the field, which we all know that it's uh, sometimes it's uh, how to do logistically wise. You need to get the permission of your customers and so on and so on. However, as I said before, UniCloud is a central application. Uh, management of your PLCs, and this is how you do it today. You click, you add, you calculate, and you can use it without interrupting your customers. For example, an example of uh, how you can use it, if you want to calculate the difference in the pump pressure uh, in and out uh, as a trigger for um, for pump maintenance or filter replacement or dropping, pressure out is dropping then more than 20%, you can use the pressure in, pressure out, and you can create a local tag calculating the uh, difference between them and uh, asking if this, uh, if this is uh, uh, reached to the level of 20% or more. The last uh, widget, the last item that I want to show you is a new widget, what we call a combo widget, which enable a quick overview of an asset status and performance. So this is the widget, uh, the combo widget. Uh, I don't know if you see the line over here. There is a frame around each, each one of those uh, assets. Uh, so let's go over and see what we can see over here. First of all, we can see the name of the asset. We can see the ID. And we can have five telemetry or system properties, a telemetry data that we want, that we decide to, uh, to show. Uh, we can decide that we want to have the remote access buttons over here. And we can decide that we want to have to show also the type of the machine or the image of the machine. The color indication over here reflects the status of uh, the alarms of this PLC. It's not reflecting the status of uh, UniCloud connectivity or so on. So if you have an alar alarm uh, on, this, uh, on this machine, you will get the red uh, button over here. Let's see how do we configure this. So in the library of a widget, we have a new management widget. 
uh, under, under uh, the management you have the combo. As soon as you drag and drop it into your, um, into your uh, dashboard, uh, you will be able to drag and drop uh, the information that you want to show over here. You remember those five lines of telemetry text and you are, will be able to decide if you want to show uh, the remote access button, all of them or some of them or none of them, and if you want to show the image, yes or no. You can of course also rearrange uh, the area over here uh, of the telemetry that you want to show. And when you finish the configuration, it's quite straightforward. You will get, uh, you will get this uh, image. You can put over here also uh, animated GIF or an image. In this case, I decided to show only three. And I decided to show all the buttons over here and, um, and the image of the, <clears throat> the image. The combo widget will show you all your assets. So you can see one after the other being, uh, before you can see one place side by side. If you want to show only a specific asset, either use the filter of the in the settings or if you doing uh, if you're moving from an assets management uh, dashboard and drill down to a specific uh, asset uh, the combo widget will know automatically that you want to address only one asset and uh, then it will show and indicate these assets